Hey guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Today we try to solve small problem. We found liquid in our motor oil. Are you ready? Let's go. Before any trip, I always check the oil level and oil condition. So now I found liquid in uh, our oil. So it could be just water or coolant. Definitely we need to remove this oil. But first of all, the very important part, we need to investigate and find the problem, what affected our oil quality. Before we start troubleshooting, let's check our motor diagram and uh, revise our knowledge how cooling system works. So first of all, it is a two different circuits. First, market green is a cooling oil. So oil cooling our motor, our cylinders and everything which heat because of friction. Second circuit is a coolant. So liquid which cooling our oil. So main oil capacity in a crank case of motor. So it is a bottom part of our motor. From here with a pump oil lifted to the cylinders and cooling cylinders down. But because of these processes our oil heat up. So our task is to cool down the motor oil. In this case we use a heat exchanger. Inside the motor there are different lines which cooling down the oil with a coolant. Top one is a heat exchanger and bottom one is a oil cooler assembly. So it is a two different systems which work together but main cooler is in a top in a heat exchanger. When coolant heat up we need to remove the temperature from coolant liquid. So we use our raw water so water from ocean lift up with a pump with the impeller and cool down our coolant and of course cooling down the motor oil. So now after the motor diagram we understood how the system works. Uh, now let's go and uh, make troubleshooting of our cooling system. Firstly, I would like to check a motor head, so main heat exchanger, uh, because if we have a problem in a heat exchanger, it is most expensive repair, and I would prefer to avoid it, so we will check it firstly. If we have a problems with our head, for example, cracks or seals or whatever, definitely we will have leftovers of exhaust system in our coolant. So now let's go and check if our coolant clear, we could save some amount of money on repairs because it is not expensive one. So now let's go to the engine compartment and uh, check expansion tank for uh, some exhaust system gases lift over. If coolant is clear, like we see now, everything is fine. So uh, we have a cheaper solution because we need to check out our oil cooler assembly. Yes, this part is fine. So let's go and investigate second system. It is a oil cooler assembly or according to user manual, oil cooling AC with a serial number uh, you will can find in the description of this video. Let's take oil cooler out and investigate if we have problem inside this assembly.
Now let's check our oil cooler. We attach it two hoses to our oil cooler and add some coolant in an external circuit. Let's wait for some period of time, maybe a few hours, and uh, check what we can see in internal circuit, where oil should be. If we see nothing, so we have some other problem. We can see now some uh, coolant in our internal circuit. So we have a problem with this part. Now we understood our oil cooler assembly is broken and we need to replace it. So let's go to Yanmar website and find this part to order. Guys, <laughs> this part cost 900 bucks. Come on, 900 bucks for that shit. Uh, strongly disagree. We will try to find some other way and uh, definitely cheaper option. Because, uh, for example, exactly that system, oil cooler assembly for a Mazda, for just regular car, diesel car, cost 25 bucks. If you compare 25 with a 900, it's something crazy. I went to agricultural website which trades uh, Yanmar engine but for tractors. And I found exactly the same oil cooling assembly but with a 162. I understand that everything which market as a marine, the prices are multiplied 10 but you can compare 162 with 900 bucks of course i choose a cheaper option because i'm definitely not sure it is a big difference between this marine or tractor versions guys if you find this problem don't worry it's not really critical part if you use big RPM, yes, you need to cool your oil additionally with a heat exchanger. But in our case, if you use uh, RPM up to 2000, just make free flow of your coolant through the hoses, just make bypass, uh, don't include oil cooler in your system and don't use a big RPM in your motor and uh, you can survive for some time. It will not affect your motor and everything will be fine. Guys, finally, we received our part from US website. Let's open box and see what is inside. What is really important, it's no rubber seal together with uh, oil cooler assembly. It could be small problem because we don't have this rubber seal, uh, so we have to use our old one, which is absolutely incorrect, but we have no other option.
guys thank you for watching us i hope our knowledge and our experience will help you in the future now you understand that it's possible to find a much cheaper option instead of regular marine grade uh, so please subscribe write a comment likes it's very important for uh, our channel to grow our channel and see you in the next video bye bye